So search queries and Boolean operators are uh, different keywords or key operators that are put before or between uh, your search word to return relevant results that are easy for the user to, um, to analyze and run through. There are a multitude of Boolean operators and all of them serve a specific purpose. For example, um, someone who is looking to combine several keywords can use uh, combinating Boolean operators like the AND, NEAR, slash X uh, or the proximity search and this is to be able to narrow down their research and find really specific results. Someone who wants to broaden up their search, uh, on the other hand, could use the OR operator that would take into consideration several different keywords and, large and thus largen the, the search. This could be a good example for L'Oreal, who some of their products have different product names in different local markets, for example. So different clients are looking for different things. We have, for example, clients working with uh, influencer management and they want to find new influencers for their topics, for their brands. And then uh, they will use uh, the Twitter follower search to get Twitter profiles with uh, X amount of followers, uh, so more than maybe 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 followers to say that this, this is a good influencer. Uh, then we have also uh, clients looking for trends and they're not necessarily interested in all millions and millions of results for a particular industry trend. What they use then is the sample search. So they can decide to get 25% of the results, 50% of the results and so on. And we also have clients working on global projects which means that they pull results from all over the world but for some topics, for some brands, they're only interested in results from one particular country and they can then use uh, the source country query syntax which means that they can get results for this particular topic for France only. Uh, so some of the common mistakes is that they actually forget to put the operator in capital letters which means that they will pull in results for the word and or, or you can imagine the number of results that will get into the project, right? Uh, another uh, common mistake is to uh, um, use the brackets incorrectly. The brackets is a great way to combine different sets of Boolean operators and search queries to get really specific uh, results and uh, to find exactly what you're looking for. But they have to be used in the right way which sometimes can be a bit complicated for the new user, but there we're obviously uh, there to help as well. So uh, we had a key member of an executive board that happened to receive a social media post from uh, a reality star from TV because they shared the same uh, first name and the brackets were not put in the, right, uh, in the right place. So he was quite surprised when he would receive let's say, these pictures. <laughs> <laughs>